in last video we discuss about some of the method of preparation of aldehydes here now we are discussing about the third method for the preparation of aldehydes that is a rimer timon reaction in this reaction phenol on treatment with phenol on treatment with chloroform and aqueous base like NaOH introduces an aldehyde group ortho to the phenolic OH group. This reaction is known as rimer timon reaction. So, when phenol it reacts with chloroform and aqueous base like NaOH, the series of reactions occur like this. First, NaOH which is base, it abstract proton, acidic proton of phenol, this proton and chloroform is attaches ortho to this. So, there is O minus Na plus and CHCl2 group is attached here. This salt which is formed sodium phenoxide salt form again reacts with NaOH and the two chlorine atoms which are attached to the same carbon atom geminal dihalides we can say. So, two chlorine atoms get replaced with two OH group. Always remember when two OH groups are attached to the same carbon atom, then it is unstable and it immediately removes water molecule. So, when water molecule is removed from these two OH group, there is ONA and CHO group. CHO means aldehyde group is attached to the benzene ring. This sodium salt or sodium phenoxide ion is finally hydrolyzed and there is a formation of salicylaldehyde. In salicylaldehyde, CHO group is ortho to the phenolic OH group. So, in this way, to introduce CHO group ortho to phenolic group, that reaction is called as rimer timon reaction. This reaction is specially for the phenols. That means phenols get converted into aldehydes. Aromatic aldehydes are formed. Next is preparation of ketones. Now ketones can also prepared by the oxidation method. But here secondary alcohols on oxidation gives ketone. If you remember primary alcohols on oxidation gives aldehyde but primary alcohols are very prone to oxidation so and aldehyde are also very prone to oxidation so one primary alcohol get converted into aldehyde the reaction cannot stop that this stage and aldehyde again get oxidized to carboxylic acid but this is not the situation in secondary alcohols secondary alcohol like CHOH this on oxidation gives ketones as ketones are very stable they cannot undergo further oxidation and reaction can get stopped at this stage see this cyclohexanol cyclohexanol it is a secondary alcohol you can see a CHOH group is there this on oxidation in presence of Na2Cr2O7 and H2SO4, secondary alcoholic group get converted into ketonic group and we get cyclohexanone. So, secondary alcohol on oxidation gives ketone. This can be very well explained by taking the example of propanol, 2-propanol. 2-propanol it is a secondary alcohol which on oxidation gives acetone or propanone to propanone. 
next method for the preparation of ketones it is from nitriles and grignard reagent nitriles means cyanides so when rmgx that is grignard reagent adds to the alkyl cyanides in presence of dry ether first it form imine salts these imine salts get hydrolyzed and we get ketones so here you can see this is methyl cyanide ch3cl methyl cyanide when it reacts with methyl magnesium bromide this grignard reagent in presence of dry ether here the reaction is this always remember it is a addition reaction and addition always takes place at double bond or triple bond so during this addition during this addition this r group remain intact only addition will takes place here and during addition grignard reagent it adds in two parts this is a carbon part and this is a magnesium part remember carbon goes to carbon and mgbr it goes to nitrogen so what we will get this ch3 remain as it is one more ch3 is added to this carbon and mgbr is added to nitrogen here due to the addition triple bond is converted into double bond so this imine salt is formed this imine salt on hydrolysis finally gives ketone that is propanone to propanone is form some more example we will discuss see here benzonitrile when it reacts with ch3mgbr in presence of dry ether again as i told you addition takes place across double bond or triple bond so remaining part will as it is here ch3 will attach to the carbon and mgbr will attach to this nitrogen so there is a benzene ring c double bond n mgbr is attached to the nitrogen and ch3 group is attached to the carbon this addition product on hydrolysis gives benzene ring c o this m n mgbr is removed and here we will go get o ch3 it's very easy to remember which product is formed see here benzonitrile it has benzene ring this carbon and nitrogen and grignard reagent also has only one carbon so which product we will get benzene ring cyanide will get converted into co and this r group from grignard reagent will attach here see here another example benzonitrile when reacts with phenyl magnesium bromide okay so what will be the product directly we will see what will happen benzene ring will remain as it is cyanide will get converted into co and this r group will attach here so how this happened benzonitrile this carbon group goes to carbon mgbr attached to the nitrogen so benzene c double bond n mgbr again benzene ring because to this carbon two benzene rings are attached and to the nitrogen mgbr is attached this imine complex on hydrolysis gives benzophenone that is the ketone so these were some methods of preparations of ketones 
Now let us begin with the reactions of aldehyde and ketone that we will discuss in next video.